Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt here. Today we're going to be doing a new segment on my channel called Deep Dive. And that's where we go into all the media production aspects I do um, for my music and for anything I do for uh, other artists. Whether it be beat production, which is what we're going to do today, uh, video production, uh, photo, pr uh, photo production like Photoshop and all that, and um, all things that entail. Today we're going to be going into Ableton, Ableton Live 10. We're going to be using a MIDI keyboard. If you don't have one, I highly recommend the Arturia MK2. Uh, my friend Colin recommended it to me. Shout out to Colin. Yerd. Let's get right into it. Uh, if you do like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to learn next, and I'll pick it up on the next video. Also, we do these live at Twitch t uh, on Twitch, and I'll put a link down below for that. Thanks, guys. Let's get right into it. I kind of got a head start today. I already did some stuff on here. Um, I wanted to like try out sampling so I took somebody's beat pack I think where is it Cymatics you can google this right here or I can throw the link in the description Cymatics packs right um, but here's the clip we're gonna be working with <laughs> sample what I usually do with the sample first what I normally do is I go to uh, I want to this is something I found out it's real cool if you have a MIDI keyboard which I got one right over here do -do 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 -do, right here right you can go to I'll do a new one for you guys you click double click the simpler and then the simpler will open in a new track right here you can uh, op uh, open it up a little bit more um, and then you drag whatever clip you want into the simpler right here right and then I like to go to slice um, sometimes it will get the clips for you nice for um, loaded up on your MIDI keyboard make sure yeah um, for you to hear the track or your MIDI keyboard you have to have this um, enabled the record enabled so I yeah I learned that the hard way so as you can see right here these little lines are gonna show you uh, the areas that it's gonna pre clip for you thinking that oh this is where you know the major points are and you can do work with this. Like, you can make things happen. You can be like... Oh, yeah. Also, there's two tabs in Ableton that you can look at to produce. Uh, most people use this one. It's, it's a little bit easier to see. But you can also use this. It basically just has it so that you can select. Like, these are MIDI clips. You can click them here. And then when you put them in... Uh, let's do it. We'll just double click. This is an educational stream. Okay, yep, here we go. And you can just go like, um, let's say, let's throw a bass in here. Sorry about that. These aren't MIDI clips. These are sound audio clips. So to have a MIDI track, that's an audio track, which basically just plays like a sample sound. And in the MIDI track is where you can create your own sounds in by going like this. So what I'm trying to explain here is this side is basically just like a... a, a uh, mix and match type of thing where you can select this track. Alright, we're doing a lot. We're doing a lot. It's gonna play them all at once because I have them lined up like that and there's no organization because I've been working through the other side. Um, I prefer using this side because you can see it better. It's like a puzzle, you know, you can see your bars. Um, yeah, we're gonna stick with that. Alright, so um, where I started was I dragged in a drum kit. I put it on, um, I got my grid set to, uh, what is it, Four, one bar. And I got my grid set to one bar so I can do that. I got the grid off right now, but you can do fixed grid to one bar so that it snaps to it. So say you want to make it perfect. Um, I'm doing a little, uh, I do that for the drum roll. So, you know, because, you know, the drum roll is always going to be steady, consistent. Um, for the sampling... I didn't really do that so much. But let's go back to what I was talking about earlier with the simpler, right? So the simpler has your MIDI keyboard loaded up to, oh, whoops, make sure it's record enabled. 
so you can hear the samples, right? So what I like to do to make it easier and more organized is go to slice by right here and go to slice by beat. And then you can do a fourth beat, a third beat, a sec two bars. I usually go one bar because then it loads up to my keyboard. My keyboard's smaller. So as you can see, some of the things aren't hitting. But if I go up here on these pads, that just means it's, it's up or down in octave. So uh, my keyboard, the Arturia Mini Lab, which was recommended by my homie Colin. That's what's up. Shout out Colin is uh it has an octave switcher so i can i'm sure you most of them come with an octave switcher because they're small tiny little keyboards so you just move it down an octave or up an octave till your keys or wherever you want to play with is hitting so i'm like uh uh yeah so that's basically what i got going on right now um, so then when I, what I started with that was I took one piece, we'll solo it, we'll solo this with the clip, oh wait, dang, can't, you can only solo one, alright, so I basically went in with the, so it sounds off right now, but when I click it back, off the solo, I sampled that with, also let's, solo, let's hear the other sample I did, so I can catch you guys up. Oh, and I'll show you right after this how to do that, how to record a live um, audio from that. We're gonna do, we're gonna add something else to it. Let's just play this out so you can hear. You get the gist, right? Now let's hear it all together. Also, um, I did drag in a sample, which I just ripped off YouTube of a guy screaming, oh my God, just to make the drop a little bit, a little bit more, uh, less anticlimactic. So we'll start from the beginning. So I like that, but there's still something missing, which is why I wanted to get into the recording at this point. There's still something missing right at the at the end right here when it goes into the. Uh... It's just so elegant, and then you hear that, and then you're like, "Dang, where's the rest of the elegance?" So I'm gonna try to splice with this right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to, um, record it live. So you want to have it record enabled, right? And you want to choose right here, select where you want to start. So I'm going to start right around here, but let's find the sound I want to use. I want to hear. So let's, I'm going to try to make it so that I can hear this piece still in. So let's let's just try let's see if maybe I can get away with just looping these two bars. We're gonna have to insert another audio track here. Maybe I can just no, I wanna keep that that simpler open. Insert audio track, right click, insert audio track. Let's bring it up here so we can see what we're working with. I'm gonna just try to continue the melody as much as I can by doing this. Let's see how it works. You know what? 
it almost worked but it's just a bar too long so let's take a bar out take a bar out oh yeah also how I um, duplicated it is control D so you go like that you can select the clip select it control D control D control D or uh, control Z to undo um, that'll just paste it perfectly right after the other um, where you would need it all right so we're just gonna try the one bar thing let's see how the one bar thing works as a transitioner without being too loud <laughs> Oh, that's kind of working. But what we have to do... Damn, we're going to have to get real technical with this, boyos. Oh, maybe I don't have to get technical. Maybe I can just duplicate. Just keep it as a set. On the fourth bar, that's fire, but on the fourth bar, we got to change that. We got to, got to, got to, got to change that. Oh, um, it's too repetitive, so let's see. It's got to be like... Maybe if I alternate it, because it just sounds like a lot, you know, but it's it's exactly what I wanted. But I could also I'm also going to go in afterwards and edit the clips individually and see, like, you know, the levels and whatnot. It's definitely it's coming in heavy right now, but I'm going to see if I can. Nah, see, OK, that's good. Let's now let's take another piece. What what piece was this? We're gonna alter. It's gonna be like, ba -ba -da -da -da, and it's gonna go, da -da -da -da, or or <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna try and make it work. So what piece did I have? I have the, I have the, ba -da 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 -da. yo, this guy screaming is OD too. I got him, so I don't have to hear him going. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, that worked. That worked. That's how you do it. Okay, so what, you, what I just did there is you can also press tab to see the views. Tab works too, but you can click up here. Um, I just went to the track itself. That's what this this is also good too because it's you can still control your masters and your volume from here. So I just went to the track itself and just lowered him. I mean, lowered it all the way down so I don't hear it while I'm editing. Anyways, back to what we're doing. So we started out with the let's hear the solo. This is the solo button just so you can hear the solo track. <laughs> So I got the ba -ba -na -na -na. So let's see what else would sound good after that. No, it's gotta be after. Maybe that. That sounds kind of crazy. I like that. Oh, I like that. We're gonna grab that, control C and control V to paste it. Um see as you can see oh well, Let's see how it works, actually. Hold on, let's see. Oh shit, I got it on solo, my bad. <laughs> see, yeah, we gotta drag that out. Oh, cause it's the and. Maybe if we go like this, that's the favorite thing. My favorite thing about having it on grid, on grid mode, it's just like puzzle piecing. You know, you can just like mix and match and see what works. Give it a chance. Oh, let's duplicate that one more time. And then, you know, what you can do, too, if this grid mode isn't, you know, isn't the best, because like when you go to select, look, I can only select that one. I had to turn the grid mode. Uh, uh, turn the grid mode off by right clicking anywhere on the outside and then you can grab the clip wherever you want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this clip and then I'm going to duplicate it control D um, yeah control D again and control D one more time oh uh, that kind of overlapped as you can see into this bar so we're gonna edge it off and bring this one back so that it has the full power. But now let's see how that sounds. Oops. 
Nah, that's too much. That's too much. It's too much. It's too much. So we're gonna just gonna let it hit for the third for the third time, and then we'll hit it with the uh, da -ni -da -ni -da -ni -da -ni. If the no, that sounded weird. That sounded weird. Let's take that off. Maybe there can be a different ending because that's the actual ending which clips us off. So let's try to find. Um, you can also zoom out by going up here to you see the the magnifying glass and zooming all the way by going up or down and it'll zoom you all the way out. Um, all right, so let's go back to here and find the ending for this because we we'll want usually what happens is like in music theory, you know, when you're going with four bars or like in rap or hip hop, it's 16 bars, which is four, 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 four times. It's a four count four times. You count one bar. Boo, boo, boo. That's what these little blocks are in. These little blocks are in one bar at a time, right? So I'm just trying to find another bar uh, to end the fourth bar because usually it's, you know, you, you want a, a build up for the first, second, third bar, and then the fourth bar, something changes because if you just have the four bars over and over again, or you can go one bar, change, second, uh, third bar, normal, and then fourth bar, change. You can have them like alternating. You know, it's up to you, but it's usually around the, the fourth bar. You want something to hit to switch so that the, the brain doesn't get um, dulled by listening to the same repetitive sound. And also, I like to build my beats backwards. So what I'll do here is I'll build the whole thing and then I'll take pieces away so that it, it comes in. Like I'll take this part out so that the sample comes in. I'll go like that and only leave the beat so that it's deconstructed and it builds itself through throughout the song. And then you can alternate like that. But we'll leave that alone for now and build the full melody, like the main chunk of it. And then we'll divulge. I kind of skipped a couple steps by getting grabbing a sample and whatnot. But let's go back to what we're going to do. Um, all right, so I'm trying to find the finisher for this. We're going to turn the grid back on because I need to grab just a bar. We're going to go to one bar grid. There we go. We got our bars. It's snapping again. I'm going to zoom back in. Try to see if we can find what we need. Oh, that sounds nice. Where was it? Right here? That's it. That's it right there. We're going to take that. That sounds nice. Oh, yeah. It's like... I swear it changed... All right, now I gotta apply that to all of them, which is an easy. There's an easy way to do that, my friends. We're just gonna go like this: one, two, three, four bars, and we're going to. As you can see, I I dragged earlier the beat um, off grid. If you turn the grid off and you drag it out any any direction, it'll re loop it for you, which is very nice because you can just mix it if it's not hitting right, or if you want to make a little transition, you can mix them in, in between the beat and then go right back to snapping to grid. And then it makes oh shoot. Oh that's also another little function right there. As you can see that's a fade. That's a fade. I can make the as you can see the sound's getting lower and it fades it in or fades it out from what um from these little corners right here. But I'm just gonna go back to doing what I was gonna do. All four bars. Select them, control D, control D, control D. Now we got just eight bars. I'm like kind of off because, you know, that's just art, man. That's just art. I'm not going to do it the same way every time. You feel me? All right. So we're going to go back to the beginning and hear how this whole thing sounds. And then I'm going to deconstruct and see if I need to add anything because at this point it's getting kind of crowded. So I don't want to add too much to dilute from the main sauce. All right, so let's go from the beginning by double-clicking the stop button and pressing play. Also, quick side note, I'm probably going to shorten this area. The intro is a little too long. I'm probably going to bring it down to like right over here. But I want to see if I can add a sample in the beginning to add some 
oomph to it. go all right we're almost there so we got this going and now oh yeah so let's let's bring my sample back in so what i basically did is i just grabbed this sample um offline i just went on youtube and i just googled a guy screaming oh my god and then i just did that and i chopped it up a little bit as you can see here we'll zoom in so you can see what went on i took the um the part where he goes uh, he starts saying, oh my, I see what you get. You're, you're not gonna be able to do that with the grid snap on. As you can see, it's making me snap to everywhere. You got to take the grid snap off again. It's nice to have it um, quick access like that. So you're just going to go and um, find. Uh, well, I got to turn the volume back up on, on my guy. Put him right here. Not too loud. And you got to find the piece where he says, oh my. And then I just kind of like duplicated it. So it comes in. Just grabbed it like that, copy and pasted it, duplicated it, duplicated it in spots where I thought it would sound cool. So let's hear it with that. <laughs> nice. Nah, see. Oh, also, all right. We can we can go into the mixing part of this since that we got the main melody down. This is what you're hearing right now. Why he's echoing? It's because I threw a large space chorus reverb on. Wish I'll show you how to grab that. You go to audio effects and you go to reverb and right here you have if you click the drop down menu you got a bunch of different presets so i just went through and looked at the presets this one's kind of wild so i'm gonna switch it out for something else let's see what it's you just simply drag and drop it into this area right here where it says drop audio effects and it'll pop up here i'll i'll delete it so you can see the full process this is a what was that i think that was a picture uh we'll figure that out after so we'll start with the the guy screaming i wanted to sound like echoey like re uh reverby and and uh, i wanted to like transition my beat into the, the beginning of the beat also i didn't really like something i heard earlier i didn't like that this came in so early so i'm gonna chop i'm gonna lop that off See how <laughs> nope still sounds bad we're gonna wait until it transitions oh or we can use a new effect we just learned and fade it. Let's see how that works. Yes, seamless. Besides the guy screaming like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> seamless, but that's because I haven't fixed his reverb. But yeah, we got, see, we can make things happen here. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so let's go back. Reverb, Um. got my reverb going. Oh yeah, so we're back on reverb. Singing can, that doesn't sound too good. Um, so that I can work on this clip, I'm going to select it and loop and loop selection. You can also just select it and press Control L, and that way when you go to clip, it, it just loops that part, so I can hear it while I want to edit it. Because I like to hear it looping as I go, so you can hear the effects. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. I don't know at all what's going on here for the most part. But like, if you if you turn the knobs all the way up or all the way down, and you hear with the sound that they make, you can figure it out on your own. It's really you don't need to know music theory to, to start editing. So we're going to go and back to the loop selection. Yep. 
All right, we're going to solo him so we can just hear just the clip. And then we're going to push play. That sounds crazy. So one thing I do know is when you see dry or wet on uh, a knob, it just means that wet will make you hear the effect more. Dry means less effect. So if you're the first thing I usually do is I go right to the dry or wet, and I'm like, all right, let's see if I can make this sound a little better. All right, before I make you guys go insane, we're just gonna leave that at that. And then we're gonna, that's enough echo, right? So reverb adds echo. Like you're in a different hall. As you can see, it has like, it has hall, room. It's just like what you would sound like if you're echoing in a room that you're not really in. So, and you can change the effects like that. But we're gonna switch to the other thing that also makes an echoey effect. It's called delay. This does a different effect where it will make you, it'll repeat the word instead of adding a short echo. Uh, delay is just a longer, less reflective reverb. Um, delay will add like, it's a longer reverb. We'll leave it at that. And then you got your presets right here and your presets. Uh, let's see what ambient space, full range spatial sounds like. What the hell was that? <laughs> Yo. All right, high buzz sounds crazy. Oh my God. Well, that sounds cool, right? So that sounds cool. Pan left. But I would like it if I can make it switch to right and left. That would be nuts, right? So there's got to be one. What's robot? Let's just see that before we go on. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh that's kind of cool, yo. <laughs> Uh, we'll use that for a different uh, different thing. What's Groove? Oh, whoops. If you double click it, it'll pop in there too. You can uh, double layer them, but I you don't don't recommend double layering lay, uh, delay unless that's the sound you really, really want to go for, like a super echoey bra. Oh, do 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 with the Groove. Let's see what that sounds like. As you can see, the delay will keep playing. Throughout the that's that's what it would go to throughout the entire song, but it'd fade out, and you can edit those effects right here. Um, that one might be it. Groove. We're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna remember groove. We're just gonna keep looking through all these presets. That sounds kind of cool. Let's hear that sounds with the song together. That's cool. All right, so. It's not coming high enough in the mix, so I'm going to switch back over here, and I'm going to pull his volume all the way back up. It's still going. All right, so let's turn it down a little bit so it doesn't go that long. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the frequencies, right? So this is the frequency that it's going to pick up, I think. I'm just educational guess. Uh, the frequency that it's going to pick up when you want it, the sound you want to echo. So we're going to... That's good. Okay, that's good stuff. So we'll move on. I uh, we'll move on to the drums, right? So the drums. Let's see how they sound on their own. What the? Oh, that's right. I wanted to save space because I'm on live, but I have enough room for another track. So what we're gonna do is what I'm. I was saving space, is putting these two tracks on the same one because I'm only allowed eight tracks on Ableton Live Light. So I'm going to go down. Perfect. And, um, all right. So we got that track. That was so that I can, okay. I was taking that away so that I can put more effects on the drums. I want to hear the drums. I want to see if the drums will, let's loop, right click loop selection. I want to see if the drums will, are kicking hard enough, right? So if they're not, I can fix that. They can come up more. That that kick isn't hitting hard enough for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to audio effects. I'm already here. We're gonna go to, 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 to EQ three. What you gonna throw in? This is a um. 
or maybe a compressor. Let's try a compressor out. What a compressor does usually it brings up the uh, the volume in certain things, makes certain things kick harder. I think. Let's see how this sounds with it. See now it's slapping a little bit more. Hopefully it's not peaking. You can always check right here to see your master track to see um, if you're peaking. If it's turning red, it's no good. Watch. It's probably going to turn red. It's okay if it's turning red during your mix if you haven't mixed it all yet. Um, but at the end of your product, there should be no red signals coming up. That means you're clipping. So I'll show you what it looks like to clip right now. Let's take this solo off because it's it's I've, I saw. It. Right Super clipping right here, right? So we can figure that out after by coming to this master track. I'm just gonna do some more mixing and then we'll get back to that. So we're gonna go right here. The drums are kicking now. We threw a compressor on the drums. They're kicking. They're nice. <laughs> So I was messing with the attack and release on there. I'm pretty sure attack means like how how much quicker it's going to come out or how much how much how much like I, I I take a wet get I mean a wet guess. I'm looking at dry and wet. I take a wild guess on it, but the dry and wet is still here too. So if it's coming in too heavy for you, just pull it to the dry side or the wet side. Um or the wet side will make it louder. I got mine all the way up cuz I want to hear the drums come through everything else more so. And so here we are. We're at. All right, so there's a lot going on off rip on the beat. And this is something I wanted to get to before, too. So what I like to do is I'm going to deconstruct this beat now that we got the main mojo. The main mojo is going to be this sound right here. So I'm going to take this away and see how that sounds without it in the beginning. I think you know what? I think we should take this one out too and let them all kick it. Shoot, I just looped that one part. Dang. Right where I wanted to hear it. So let's, let's stretch the loop out to where we want to hear it. All right, so that, that worked, right? That worked. We're still going to deconstruct it a little bit more by taking this out. And so see how it's going to build up. Um, these aren't hitting at all for me. I, I don't hear them enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them out in the mix by soloing it. But we're going to go to this part right here. Okay, that makes sense, right? So what I did is I, before I grabbed the, the general compressor, which you can do, and then drag the presets in it, like the whole folder. But I just grabbed the preset itself, and it looks like this now, which I kind of like. Oh, and it has a little... Oh, no, we don't want a compressor on this. I'm saying it backwards. Sorry, guys. Compressors will um, help you if you're peaking. That's for other stuff. That's for um, lowering the volume. So we're going to go with the EQ like I was going to do in the beginning and try to bring out some of these mid-tones. Oh, that low tone sounds nice, though. It's got a little bass to it. So let's grab some more of the frequency. So I, I turn the low the low tone up just to see what it sounds like. Usually what I do when I go into any of these, like I said, I just turn the knobs up and down while I'm listening to it looped. So let's uh, loop selection again. Just listen to it.
So I just basically turned everything up and it's sounding great. So I just turned all the low, mid, high, uh, the gains on all of them up because I guess everything wasn't coming in. But uh, it sounds great. And I'm going to see what it sounds like with everything together, see if the mix is coming together better. Than <laughs> Dang, still can't really hear it. And I think that's partially because this is coming in so heavy. So let's go into mixing our sampling now. We're going to go and less low, more mid. That's what that one was, midnight. Um, oh, they got like all the, I, the names right here. Channel EQ. Huh, I wonder what that sounds like on this, the heartbeat kick. I just want to see what this sounds like real quick on the drums. No, what the hell was that? That ruined it. Took that out. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so, 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 sorry about that. All right, and we're going to go into... Uh, one second. I'm going to check this thing real quick. All right. So we're going to try to fix this mix real quick. Real quick. Just making sure that's good. Okay. All right. So the mix is going to get fixed by going to this and... Let's see, is it MIDI effects? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Audio effects. Um, maybe some reverb will help, you know? Some reverb always helps without losing the sound. Just add it, um, it just let it come in a little bit more reflective. See, that's just too basic. So I'm gonna go with ambience. Let's try ambience. All right, so that sounds dope. That worked. That worked, so we're gonna go. All right, so let's hear the whole thing before I go on that break. And then we'll come right back to where we're mixing. Wait, did the oh my god not hit? Oh, he's coming in way, 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 way too low. We're going to switch his reverb to something lighter. Something like, uh... You know what? Let's see what it sounds like without the reverb real quick. And just the delay. Oh, it's the delay that's doing that. Damn, that delay sounded cool, though. So how can I... Oh, yeah. Let's turn it down. There we go. And we can throw the reverb back on it, but a light, a light, 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 light reverb. Let's do... Large hall. And then we'll, we'll not make it... So And then we're going to also use the tool we've just figured out, fade his screaming butt out. 
so that it can just go away as soon as the beat starts. But it still adds some crazy elements. <laughs> So right here, it's kind of cool how it's, it went in seamlessly, but it got kind of light there. Maybe I want to try doing what I did with the Oh My God right here to make it give a little oomph before it drops in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the snap to grid off. I'm going to zoom in by going up here. Oops, too much. Let's go to the left. Right there. All right, so let's grab the beginning clip. Control C and try to give it a duplicate right there. We don't need this piece. All right, so we duplicated it a couple times so that it'll sound cooler when it comes in. Maybe I want to, let's hear it first. That didn't really do much, did it? So let's solo it. Now let's get let's let's slice these clips up a little bit more. So we're gonna go and delete that, right? And we're going to select this clip, duplicate, duplicate, uh, control C, whoops, control C that so you have it copied so you can move it wherever you want, and then control V and then duplicate again. And we're gonna try. Now, see, that's it needs a little bit more space. It needs to be like right here. So we're gonna start right there. It's gonna go dun 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 dun. Like that. And all right, that's kind of close. I'm gonna try. I'm still new to this, so. <laughs> Bear with me. All right. All right, that that might work. So let's let's hear it. That worked. All right. So let's hear it further back out. Eight bars out of it, boys. The intro sample itself also has no effects on it, so we're going to throw some reverb on it because it's coming in a little too hot. So we're going to hit it with some reverb, give it a large stage vibe. How about that? <laughs> See, yeah, that worked. Oh, you heard the little bit, 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 bit. I almost want to throw some more in the begin, in the beginning, just to, just to get it right. Let's let's do that again. Let's get let's get in on that because that sounded good. So we're gonna throw a couple more stutter steps in there to see how that sounds. Oh, I don't even got the camera face. I almost want to copy that stutter step and throw that in. Let's see how that works. Nah, that's too much. That's too much. We're, we're going too far. Maybe if I throw it down on the audio track down here, though. Let's get the grid snap back on. All right, so we're at the one bar. Throw it down here and see if it layered up. It sounds nice. Nah, that's too much. It's too much, too much, too much, too much. All right, so we'll leave it alone there. I'm going to. Oh my God. Give a nice little record skip kind of vibe. All right, and we're almost there. So that got the reverb kind of do want to cut this but what I do want to see is how long this clip I'm going to use is because I have 
how many tracks left? Seventh, eighth track. I got one more track I can use. Oh, and we never even used this splice clip from the beginning. So I don't know. It sounds like from the end part now. <laughs> do the same I don't really need to uh, control undo it we're gonna bring that splicer clip back um, we're gonna go to audio effects no sounds no is it sounds simpler I need to find the simpler 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 where did I oh yeah it's under instruments all right simpler it's under instruments we're gonna put a simpler right here and then we're gonna grab this again Put it in there, slice it, not splice. I keep saying splice. Go to beat, sort by beat, sort by one bar. And then we got, we got it loaded up, right? We'll just use that and try to go with that. So we're gonna go to record, make sure it's record enabled. Where's the right? Get a groove going. All right, that's kind of something. Let's try. All right, let's try. That might be it. Well, I don't know. The harp seems kind of light. I feel like it'll get. What are vocals? Ad libs? Oh, okay then. Let's just see what that does, yo. Let's see what that does at the end to it. Oh, shoot. I got to get rid of this. Delete. We might just go with that instead of... That might be our X factor right there. Oh, that shit is crazy! Let's see what's going on with the mix. So what I did there is I just grabbed a couple of the vocal, I mean, grabbed a couple of the levels and just started leveling them out what I saw, what was going on.
what's up? Mozzie getting rich? Hey, I didn't see you there, Mozzie getting rich. Sorry about that. I just realized somebody was in the chat. Hey, thanks for the follow, Mozzie again, Rich. I just can't really see the chat from here. Well, this is pretty cool, getting some followers, doing fun stuff. All right, so we're going to go back, and where were we at? Okay, so we fixed the mix a little bit right there. So what I did, I basically just added some reverb, uh, fixed the reverb a little bit. It was kind of like twangy right here. <laughs> There's a second. There we go. All right. So this is pretty awesome. Let's hear it. So this is where I'm not hearing much. This didn't get mixed at all, did it? No, it didn't. All right. So we're going to throw do 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 double click this. We can turn up all the levels on these by doing this, right? So I double click that. This is the piano roll. And in the piano roll, you can do uh, you can either select them all by going like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, or you can just press Control A, and Control A will select them all for you, right? And then these are the little volume ticks at the bottom. I like the way that they kind of individually left up. So we're gonna pull them all the way to the top. Oh, that's a nice rule of thumb. That's a nice rule of thumb. If you're ever wondering how to get them all an even level, you can just pull them all the way to the top, select them all, pull them all the way to the top, and they'll all even out. Huh. Cool. All right. Now it's hitting. Now you can hear it hitting more. Let's hope it's not clipping, because if it's hitting, it's good, but if it's clipping, it's bad. All right. So let's see. We're going to go to... Reverb. Add a little reverb. Um, large factory. Sure, why not? Right, fuck it. Too much reverb can dilute the sound of the song, so I'm gonna delete it. This might be good on its own with the volume added. <laughs> Now it's lacking the it's lacking a hit, so we need to make it hit. Let's try delay this time because there was some cool stuff with the delay. Wonder if I put a robot on it, it make it sound crazy. <laughs> Whoa, that's wild. So what I also just did right there was press control U, which uh, quantizes everything, meaning that it puts it all right to the beat. Um, <clears throat> if you do from the MIDI track, it's really nice to go in and control A and control U your track immediately. So that as soon as you get in, everything's already up to the beat, unless you want it to be offbeat, and that's the style you're going for. Um, that 
uh, reverb is not the style I'm going for. Oh, that's what's happening. Off rip, off rip. I can hear the reverb coming in crazy on that. So we're just gonna you're gonna check that. I don't like this large stage for reverb. It's not working. We're gonna switch the reverb to cathedral. No, cathedral's too big. We'll try gymnasium. All right. So what was that? Okay. So sorry for the distractions, guys. I got reverb. It was too heavy on that. All right, so we're going to lower the reverb. So by easily just turning the dry wet down, let's hear it now. Turn it towards more dry. Alright, so that sounded great, but as you can see, the levels of the sample itself were coming in too high. So the, the whole beat sounds low because of that sample. So we're going to go tab, and we're going to go bring these. Actually, we're going to bring levels of everything else up and see how that sounds first before we lower the beat of the sample. And on the transition. <laughs> Still kind of too high, so we're definitely going to lower the, the master on him. There we go, now everything's hitting. So let's hear it back again on the transition. All right, now the problem is that we brought those up and I have these levels. And I got these levels different. I'm gonna have to re-go back in and actually fit, put them back down to the levels. Because they're hitting a little too high now, and did a little too much on that, trying to get them to stand out. So what we're going to do is bring this back. Bring that back right there. Go back to this, double click it, and lower the dBs. Lower the dBs just a little bit. Let's see how that sounds. Alright, so now we're going to control D. Control D, Control C, click him, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. All right, now let's see how that sounds. They sound kind of off. Let's try it with just one of these. Let's just try too many. Let's bring these closer. Oh no. Take the snap to grid off. No, not to one fourth bar off. And then we can, s whoops, not that one. Control Z. Slide this one right on it. All right, let's hear it. Let's go. All right, so that sounds right. Let's hear the whole thing out.
sounded fire, but I didn't like the robot. Actually, hold on. Let's keep the robot on there and just lower the wetness on it. That sounded kind of fire. <laughs> That sounded dope. All right, so we're going to call it a wrap for the day. That was another beat with Matt Rod. Appreciate you guys who came through. Thank you for following. All right, we're going to catch you guys back probably tomorrow whenever I get another, another chance to get in on this. Thanks. Peace.